Desmoid tumors are considered um, benign when you look under the microscope. They look like they would not be aggressive at all. However, in patients, they can be very aggressive locally and cause a lot of pain. Usually a patient notices a lump. Um, they can occur anywhere in the body. Um, it's usually the, uh, when something causes pain that brings the patient to the physician. Usually it's the primary care physician. And these are diagnosed with the biopsy. And, um, and then our recommendation always is because these are very rare tumors that patients seek out a sarcoma specialist at a big center because um, uh, it's not just a matter of taking the lesion out with surgery. And sometimes these tumors will shrink on their own. And so now there's this um, uh, phrase that's been coined, wait and watch and see what the behavior of the tumor is. And this can be very difficult for patients and for physicians to sit and watch, a, watch something that's um, a growth. But, but really, it's, this conservative approach seems to be better than uh, just going straight to surgery. Uh, if you look at the entire population, it's usually um, most common in the 30, 40-year-olds. But we do see it in children and we, uh, as young as infants, actually. But the, the average age is in pediatrics is probably 11 to 13 years of age. And then in terms of who gets these tumors, um, most of them are sporadic, meaning they don't run in families. But there is a very small subset, probably about 10% of patients who have a a syndrome called Gardner's syndrome, where uh, they have in all of their cells a mutation in a gene called APC. And this, um, it's very important to identify these patients because not only do they get desmoid tumors, which could be the first presentation of the disease, but they're also at risk for colorectal cancer.